In this small segment, while actually working on a patient, I'm going to describe the feelings and sensations of cleaning and shaping. I'm starting off with the number 15 file, and I've already looked in the scope to introduce the file into the canal, and I will have some pictures that I've already pre-taken that will show um, what the canal orifice looks like as I start this process. This is the molar tooth with the access properly extended and the grooves roughly formed and trussed. So the first 15 file, I'm just teasing it down to slip sliding motion to our estimated stop length. And with files, you go with an up and down motion. And as I get about a millimeter from the tip, I'm feeling a little bump. And so I'm just very tightly teasing it with a little um, kind of teasing back and forth rotational motion. Very passively, not pushing it at all, not trying to create a wedge. And it just slides right by it, and I feel like I'm getting patency down to my stop level. And so I'm just going up and down, a little filing around that little bump, smoothing it. Go to the next file, the number 25. Now, same thing, I'm teasing it the same way, just very light passive motion rotational. Feeling the bump, I rotate the pre curved portion of the file, it's sliding over that bump, and it just goes very naturally down to the position, to the patent position of the finale there. And I'm just teasing it with little rotational movements, very passively. Now I'm doing a filing motion, backing out over the bump, smoothing the bump. It happens, it happens to feel like it's about a millimeter from the tip of the roof. Now 25, same thing. Kind of goes over the little bump, which is a little bit smoother now. It's not as an abrupt a bump as it was. Filing motions back and forth, open. And about this point, I'm going to want to use some irrigant, so I'm going to use full strength to it, like a chloride. Flushing it just, just liberally, just right up to the brim of the prep. Passing it to my assistant. Still found the way. And because I have really nice line angles where the canal will just slip right down the windy line angle on the canal, I don't really need to scope during this part as I'm getting myself in a comfortable position to smooth out the bump. Again, we pretty much almost have it shaped out now. Now I'm kind of leaning the file along the mesial lingual groove and I'm filing that as well. Kind of open that up. Again, passive movement. Sliding the file down. Pass the bump. Now we're at 35. It's about a half millimeter from the terminus. And I'm just filing back towards the mesial lingual groove to file out this this MB system has a very simple anatomy. It doesn't really have a distinct MB2, but it does have a mesolingual groove that needs to be trocked and filed down. So now you can see that the groove is much smoother and pretty much shaped out and the cleaning shaping is finished. Okay, so that's a complete recapitulation series. I hope that helps you improve your technique.